Hello and welcome back to On Chain Reaction. I'm your host James Bennett and today we're going to be looking at what's going on with Bitcoin on and off the chain. Okay, so let's jump into it here by looking at the on-chain settlement value for Bitcoin over uh, the last seven days rolling. We've now dropped below that support we saw a couple of weeks ago at $30 billion a week uh, down to just $3 billion a day, which is about $21 billion per week. This level was last seen in December of last year, um, not something we've experienced so far this year. The good news is that price is holding at this level. However, with this decrease in on-chain activity, it is unlikely that we will see that uh, next price move up um, and perhaps we may even see a move to the downside. Now, if we're looking at the on-chain uh, volume in native Bitcoin terms, the best metric for that is velocity. Velocity last week, I think I mentioned hit 360%, uh, which was a sort of a low point seen in 2014 and um, earlier in the year and now we've actually gone to a new low never seen before velocity has dropped to its lowest ever level uh, here you're looking at velocity in blue Bitcoin price in gold and um, you know as well as that new low point and what, what I want to point out here is that the rate of change of velocity uh, that's the slope of that velocity line is uh, quite a good leading indicator for the Bitcoin price as you can see in the second half of last year uh, July through till January um, or December I should say last year velocity was picking up um, subsequently the price followed and then as velocity fell through the year prices followed again so you know let's uh, let's see what this uh, next few weeks has in store for us okay so breaking down that traffic into uh, high value traffic this is the upper quintile of uh, Bitcoin activity that takes place on the network here in black, we are looking at the seven day moving average of high value traffic in Bitcoin terms. Now, what I want to point out here is again, a never seen before trend on the Bitcoin network, which is that um, that red dotted line horizontally is 150,000 Bitcoin that are moving uh, in the high value bucket. And, and you can see each time that we've gone below 150,000 Bitcoin uh, in a week that are moving over the network in that high value bucket. That's where price has shown weakness. That's towards the end of 2018 uh, and also towards the end of 2019. When we have uh, that black line high up above the uh, trend, the, the red dotted line, you can see that price is in fact uh, recovering or, or very strong. Um, and you know, right now, what we're seeing at the far right hand side is that, that, that um, the number of Bitcoin in that high value bucket is dropping very, very fast. Um, something again we've not seen uh, ever on the network. So high value traffic was a big driver of this recent bull market. Perhaps with it gone, does it mean that it is the end of the bull market? Moving to the supply side, uh, miners inventories have been uh, consolidating over the last few weeks. I actually showed this slide maybe in January or February early this year and indicating that you know, typically we see these cyclical patterns in minor inventories. Um, in blue, you can see the total number of Bitcoin held in inventory and gold, again, the Bitcoin price. The green highlighted areas indicate where Bitcoin uh, is in a bull market. And therefore, I mean, you can see uh, that at the same time, the miners inventory drops sharply at uh, those big downtrends. And then during those bear markets, um, consolidation, flatter inventory line or perhaps even rising. Um, if we zoom in in this next slide on what's happened the last few months, we can see that inventory is in fact building. So we've hit that sort of upward slope um, and price is still holding steady price there in blue inventory, sorry, in green inventory in blue. Uh, how does this translate into uh, the miners rolling inventory? Well, the miners rolling inventory looks at the net uh, inventory position so that inventory uh, line you just saw but then also looking at how many uh, coins are being uh, sent out for the first time so newly generated coins less the newly spent coins gives us our MRI uh, when MRI is above 100% there are more coins being spent if it's below 100% they're building their inventory same sort of picture here you can see MRI has been trending towards 100% since the beginning of the year uh, and price has been holding steadily as we've got towards that 100%. So, okay, overall, uh, let's say the network on-chain network demand is dropping uh, pretty fast. 
Uh, miners are holding their position, but what about fund inflows? This is a really interesting picture that we're looking at here. So in orange, it's the uh, fund inflows less the minor sales. So that's all new investment into the market, uh, less minor sales, which is that new issuance coming into the market. When those two things are balanced, you would expect to see price holding pretty firm, um, excluding you know what's happening on the on on chain side, the secondary market. Um, and you know this is uh, this is exactly what's been going on over the last few months. You can see that orange line is really trending horizontal at the moment as Bitcoin ranges between thirty two and thirty six thousand uh, dollars. So you know if you believe that now Bitcoin is moving or graduating from a network story, uh, perhaps more to a store of value story, uh, that balance between supply and demand, then well you know this is uh, one of the very important metrics to watch. Okay, finally, we haven't looked at this picture in a while. We're looking at the total amount of Bitcoin that is sitting on the Ethereum network. Out of the 21 million Bitcoin that will ever be mined, there's about 1.2% of those Bitcoin are now wrapped and on the Ethereum network, either through the wrapped Bitcoin token, FOB token, or REN BTC. Um, it's about 1.6% of all the active Bitcoin. Remember, the num a few million of those Bitcoin that have been mined have been lost forever. Um, and so 1.6% uh, of the active, which is a huge amount, that's $8.6 billion worth of Bitcoin that is actually sitting on the Ethereum network. So it could be that a lot of that uh, fall in on-chain activity that we're seeing is actually just a move onto a layer two, if you think of it, Ethereum like a layer two for Bitcoin. Um, that activity perhaps is still taking place, but just not as much on the main chain. Really interesting. Uh, evolution that we're seeing potentially with Bitcoin at the moment. So on the right hand side that table, uh, this is a fantastic uh, chart from uh, table from from June Analytics. It actually breaks down the um, some of the biggest holders of those wrapped Bitcoin. Uh, so that's just the green portion uh, in that chart on the left. Uh, the biggest three Alameda Research have about 2.2 billion dollars worth of Bitcoin wrapped. Coinlist 1.3 billion, Grapefruit Trading 0.8 billion. Scanning down the list, you can see a few of those market makers and um, Neo Neo banks, uh, Kyber Maker, DDEX, and then AirSwap, which I believe is on Polygon Network. And um, so very excited there to see uh, you know the real sort of actors in the in the space who are using these wrapped Bitcoin uh, for market making purposes and also you know liquidity on on um, in, in these yield farming protocols okay that's it for me for now as always if you have any questions uh, do reach out at info at bytree.com otherwise we'll see you next week